And it's, it's hard, and it's definitely hard on relationships and family and friends. I believe in you, I wanted to get that across in this video that you can definitely do it. It's gonna be a big one tonight. I'm gonna to get my buddy to come and film some behind the scenes for that, so it's gonna be kind of a behind the scenes of how I shoot, how I direct videos. Um, yeah. Whoa, dude. What is going on, YouTube? Cheers. Ah. Currently running around the house trying to get organized as I have two shoots tonight. Um, and I just finished work, so it's been a friggin' full on day. It's been a little bit of a while since I've actually filmed a vlog, and I kind of wanted to touch on that. It's because um, I had about two weeks off or so from filming and I feel I only pick up the camera when I'm like super busy and I have tons going on, hence picking it up today. So I just wanted to remind you guys that when people vlog, when people make a bunch of content, you gotta remember that it's the highlight reel. Everyone always says this, but I feel like subconsciously it kind of still gets to you that you think people are better than you or people are doing more than you. Um, and it's good to use that as motivation, at least that's what I find. I do myself is that sometimes I feel like I know these people are just posting like their busiest times or their busiest days or posting their best clients or their best events but you got to remember that everyone is normal everyone has a normal life everyone goes back home and sees their significant other and chills and hangs out you have to remember that life isn't all work life I know like with entrepreneurship it's so popular now everyone's like hustle hustle grinds like I do it myself I always post uh, all my stories on Instagram and everything, just grinding at 2 a.m. But it's not all about that, it's definitely not. If you want to be an entrepreneur, it's definitely the way to go, I would say. Like this past year of my life, starting to like actually make this a legit business and starting to make like significant money where it's like, feels awesome. It feels like I don't have to rely on my work to pay my bills. I can do what I like doing, which is making videos. And my work is kind of my, uh, catch safety net right now like I'm still making that money so it's there but then I can just go grind on videos and make like all that profit on top of my work which is just feels amazing it feels amazing to work for yourself but you have to also understand it's like the most stressful thing in the world it's probably the most I've ever worked in my life has been this past year I'm I feel like I'm constantly working and it's it's hard it's definitely hard on relationships and family and friends and everything because I feel like I don't see people as much because I gotta get caught up in the business, get caught up in the grind. So you always have to remember to take time for family and friends, relationships as well, which is something I'm working on. But yeah, if you want to be an entrepreneur, whether it's creative, whether it's um, on the business side of things, wherever it may be, definitely, definitely go for it, 100% all in. Obviously, you have to kind of wean your way into it. So start off with like your regular job and just hustling on the side. And if you keep doing that, I promise you, you will get to a point where you'll start making a lot of money and you can maybe even replace your job and be a hustler entrepreneur. So I believe in you, all right? I believe in you. I wanted to get that across in this video that you can definitely do it. Um, it's not, it's definitely not for everyone. I found out the past year that it's, it takes a lot of organization. It takes a lot of self-discipline. Um, you really got to be on top of everything because at the end of the day, you're the boss, you're the worker, you're the, uh, for myself, I'm the website designer, I'm the content creator, I'm the marketing team, I'm everything finance, business. So you pretty much have to learn everything um, in the spectrum of entrepreneurship and business all at once and try to understand it all while still doing that job or making those videos in my, turn, in my case. So it's definitely super stressful, definitely hectic, but 100% so worth it. So if you're out there, if you're on the edge and you wanna do something, I would say just friggin' start doing it because it might turn into a job. It might not, it might just be a hobby, but it's something to think about. So I'm currently on my way to two shoots tonight. I gotta stop by at Best Buy and get a new camera battery because I have a gift certificate to Best Buy and I lost my camera battery in Thailand when I was there. I definitely need a backup battery because I have two shoots tonight back to back. 
and I won't be able to last that long on one battery. Tonight, I have a shoot with a hockey team. I'm doing a promo video. So I'm probably just gonna do, maybe put up some behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram. Go follow me if you're not. Um, and then to later tonight after that, I have a shoot with my buddy's company in Australia. He actually messaged me and wants me to do kind of like a winter themed promo video for them. So I did a last minute ice rental, which was like 170 bucks Canadian. Um, it's like 50% off if you do it last minute. So I emailed them, organized that all. I got everything organized for the shoot. I just need to bring my equipment, get some extra equipment from my other friend, and we should be good to go. So it's gonna be a big one tonight. I'm gonna to get my buddy to come and film some behind the scenes for that. So it's gonna be kind of a behind the scenes of how I shoot, how I direct videos. Um, yeah. We got the gimbal batteries currently charging. We've got the GoPro charging uh, for behind the scenes stuff. I uh, got a bunch of contracts written up and pre-printed just so I can bring those to the shoot and have whoever needs to sign it, sign it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am wearing the new Rally Vision t-shirt. Limited edition, only two made, so hit me up if you want one. The only way you can get one is if you work with me and we do a shoot together, so. Time to go to Best Buy. Time to run a bunch of errands. See you guys soon. So we're here at Best Buy, just gonna go grab the camera battery, but um, I was listening to some music on my way in on Spotify. That's usually my creative process of finding music is through Spotify playlists, because um, they usually show like smaller artists, so I can kind of, kind of try to, you can also try to like message smaller artists and get their permission to use their songs. That's something I've done, and you can like build relationships with DJs, and that's a sick way to get like actual good music to use in videos. But I just found this one by Hero Bust called Blockbuster on Spotify. And I think I'm gonna use it for tonight's video. If, if the client likes it, I'm gonna send it to him first. So picture this with a really fast paced hockey style edit. Here we go. Nice camera action. So that's usually how I find my music is through Spotify, through YouTube, um, and then copyright free sites. And then I kind of just ask the client what genre they're into and go from there. But I think I just found the music for tonight, so that's good because it's always good to know the song that you're editing to before you actually film the video. So you can kind of picture the cuts. It's the best way to do it. Now it's really hard to do that because you don't always have all the best music on hand all the time, but if you can do that, that's the best, definitely the best way to do it. So, time to go get the battery, dude. Coming soon. And we are back. We got a travel charger kit. They didn't have any Canon batteries in stock but they have third party chargers. So this one is actually cheaper than the Canon battery by itself, but this one also comes with a charger. So, so now I have an extra battery and an extra charger uh, and I got it for 15 bucks. So 15 bucks because I had a gift card, but I think it was like 60, 69 or something like that. I should probably put my mic on for better audio quality. First step to prepare for a shoot is eat a big meal. So we're here, we're gonna start. We're already like <laughs> half hour late because the Eagles are on before us, but we got the uh, Canon 24 to 70 F 
Shout out to my man Nick to let me borrow this one. Guy let me borrow his lens. What a beauty, because this is like two grand. So we're gonna set this up and then uh, start shooting. So we'll see what we come up with. I have a, uh, a list of shots that I wanna get in my trusty new Relivision notebook. Just basic things that I don't wanna miss pretty much. Um, and then we're just gonna shoot drills and just shoot close up stuff and make it look sick. So let's get into it. Yeah, go back in there. Let's walk out and go on the exit. All right, come back. All right, guys, so what we're doing here is getting our first shots. Um, but yeah, let's get after it. That's all we're doing. No introductions here. We're on a time crunch. Yeah, we are. All right, so we're gonna get these intro shots and then we're gonna get some skill shots here. Uh, all right, go. filming, there's always, always 12 takes to one shot. Probably the hand yeah, that's what I was Yeah, so you get my focus on there. I'm sure like, yeah, so if you're hand there and throw yourself off, you're good. Yeah, you're good. All right, so I got my, uh, my mic jimmy rigged up here a little bit into the, into the crane. Just because you need those hard cuts to the skates, that's a key factor to editing is that. We have such a quiet environment, you know, that you gotta take advantage of the sound effects that you actually get in camera. All right, Willsy, get warmed up on those, bud. It just stops and starts. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Maybe you do, um, like, red line, blue line. Kind of like the whole thing, because to get right now is the classic nose drip the classic hockey player nose drip so since uh, Ryan is skating his heart out but he's not sweating I am right. skating my heart out here we're uh, tossing some hard. actual tossing some actual water on him and then we're gonna do a close-up detail shot of him drinking from the shaker so let's do it. Right, ready and action Go on manual focus because auto focus doesn't always work. Ready, action. Look down, like focused and ready to skate. Sweet. We'll do it once more. <clears throat> Thank you guys for checking out the video today. Um, something a little bit different. I haven't done a full behind the scenes video, I don't think, on YouTube for a little bit. So if you guys like this style of video, make sure you either just drop it a thumbs up to let me know, or even comment down below and say, Matt, this video was sick. And then I'll know you watched this far. Wow, sick bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes. Subscribe if you haven't. My name is Matt with Rally Vision. See ya.